Good afternoon and welcome to uh, another News at 10 update. Uh, in Moldova, beginning of life, have been as busy as ever, coordinating a response to the refugees, transporting people here and there, working with churches, placing refugees, um, and even getting aid into Ukraine. Moldova uh, has now had about 300,000 refugees pass through, 100,000 of which have stayed in the country. Sergei reported this week when I spoke to him that it's been less intense at the border uh, this week, which has been uh, helpful and perhaps a little easier to manage. In Romania, our partner focus has continued to be in the southeastern part of the country, uh, working alongside partners there. They have now sent uh, multiple vans of aid back into Ukraine with Ukrainian pastors into the Odessa region. Um, encouragingly, uh, they have uh, actually made space in one of the churches for a Ukrainian language service, which uh, obviously serves as a wonderful comfort to Ukrainians who are having to get used to life outside their own country, gives them the opportunity to gather with other Ukrainians, worship together, uh, and, uh, and, and, you know, and, and have that time uh, on a Sunday with God, with, with one another, with fellow believers. Thousands continue to cross the border. Um, and I think in Romania now, uh, there are about 500,000 refugees who have come in. Um, again, as with Moldova, a good number of those have passed on to uh, Western Europe. We are now having contact with partners further west who are also engaging with refugees. Uh, further west in Romania, in Aradia, for example, uh, but also in Bulgaria, uh, where refugees have now got to Sofia. Um, and even into Macedonia, I was on a call with Petra Petrov in Macedonia this week, and he was telling me that the church in Skopje has got three refugee families staying with them. So it's busy. In the UK, uh, we continue to uh, receive lots of support and we just want to say a big thank you to you, our supporters. Uh, we've now either had pledged or actually given uh, over £80,000 and we've also been able to send out uh, over £50,000 to uh, enable partners in all that they are doing. Thank you so much. Um, this is amazing and it's truly humbling uh, to receive this response from you. We are also talking to other agencies and talking about how we can work together, build communication and network around supporting one another and also making sure that we're not duplicating. I am now uh, attending uh, regular meetings with other leaders in other mission agencies uh, so that we know what others are doing and so that we can work together as best possible. I had the opportunity on Sunday the 20th to speak on BBC Radio Bristol to talk about what our partners are doing, to talk about how 10 is responding. Please continue to pray for the situation, but please can I ask you also to pray for the rest of the Balkans. Of course, much ministry continues in different nations around the region. Uh, and of course, there is a degree of heightened anxiety uh, across the region because of previous wars and what is going on currently in Ukraine. In the next couple of weeks, I am hoping to head out to Romania and uh, my plan is to head over to the southeast part of the country and link up with some of our partners uh, where it will be uh, you know, great to see how they're doing to encourage them as they serve all these folk coming into their country at this crisis time. Thank you again for your support and prayers um, and thank you for watching News at 10.